Hello, I'm Janae Tipsharani with 90 at 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. The Global Financial Stability Board is red flagging risks around the world's 35 trillion US dollar shadow banking sector. It says regulators have yet to get a good grip on the firms that carry out services similar to banks, with supervision and data gathering still too patchy to spot risks properly. The board's concerned more heavy regulation of the banking sector since the GFC has seen some of the risk shifted to more loosely regulated shadow banks. Meanwhile, the Dallas Fed president is calling for looser regulation of the US's smaller banks, suggesting there's more room for fiscal policy to boost the US economy. Robert Kaplan says the Fed's been suffocating its small banks, which is hurting local business formation. He says monetary policy isn't the be-all and end-all, and the US hasn't seen a lot of fiscal policy in the last seven or eight years. The head of the World Trade Organisation warns just how hard a Brexit will hit Brits' pockets. He says British British consumers would have to pay £9 billion, or US$13 billion, in annual additional import tariffs if it was to leave the European Union. Britain's exports would also be burdened with £5.5 billion of new tariffs in overseas markets, and leaving the EU would require a full reboot of Britain's trade relations. In New York, the benchmark US Treasury 10-year yield has dropped to 1.85%. Oil has made decent gains overnight, following new data showing a drop in inventories. The US crude and Brent benchmarks have risen by around a dollar to just below 50 US dollars a barrel. The gold price has continued to decline today to $1,219 an ounce. The New Zealand dollar has strengthened slightly to 67.7 US cents, 94.0 Australian cents and 60.6 Euro cents. The TWI index has jumped 50 basis points to 71.8. We can expect to see some fluctuations in the New Zealand dollar today, further to Fonterra announcing its opening milk price forecast for 2017 this morning and the government announcing this, the budget this afternoon. ANZ expects a small obegal surplus for the 2015-16 fiscal year, with this surplus set to increase to over 2% of GDP by the end of the forecast period. Health and education are also likely to get the lion's share of extra funding, while previously flagged tax cuts have been dropped in favour of debt repayment. I'm Janae Tibshirani, and that was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.